Welcome to the Central Life where today we are going to be cooking an egg in the hole. We're going to show you two different methods. The first one's going to be very easy and it's very efficient. The second one involves people that enjoy flavor. Step one to the first method, go outside, find a hole, throw egg. Boom. With this amount, you could probably feed a family of 13 to uh, 100 or so and that's a lot of food while we're out here in the garden let's go ahead and just grab some of this this is some fresh cilantro cilantro goes good on everything take that take that okay now to cook the perfect egg in a hole you're going to need these ingredients ground beef mushrooms egg onions more uh, mushrooms a uh, green pepper jalapeno cheese and don't forget a little bit of freshly picked cilantro if you didn't catch that i will put a list item right down below step one turn on the stove step two let's cut up some mushrooms boom now let's continue with the rest step three let's do the jalapeno gopro stop recording gopro stop recording you know fine I'm just now realizing I am right-handed, so that means my left hand is in your way. Movie magic. Next step, let's do the bell pepper. Now let's add butter. I hate that noise. There we go. And then the ingredients. Spatula. Give it a whisk. Get them all going. This is called sautéing. Beautiful. Next step. Do some meat. Salt. Pepper. Smush. Okay. Nice and flat. Now we're going to season the other side. Now, let's make a hole. You can normally just use like a cup if we ain't got one the size, but the cup that is actually the proper size for this is uh, holding together my GoPro in place. So, you can see there's a the nice little old hole. Look at that hole. It's almost like a, a hamburger donut. Same thing with this one. Before I put my donut patties on the skillet, I'm going to make sure these are good and cooked. I want these to be ready. Moist and ready. I'm gonna give it a little stir. I like a little crunch to my sauteed stuff because you know it feels fresh. 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 I'm gonna let them cook a little longer and then we're gonna throw these bad boys on there because these don't take long to cook. It's called saute because it lasts all day. Okay, I'm still sauteing, but now that I've had time to contemplate life, I feel like I should go ahead and move to the next step, which is going to be patsy donut on grill. Crank her down a little bit. I want her to slow cook and for the next one. Oh, yeah. When it comes to egg in a hole, I always put the egg in just before, shortly before, I'm about to flip them. I don't want the egg to be cooked too much. It's hour 30 and I'm still waiting for this to be sauteed. This is almost flippable now. So right here, I'm going to add an egg. Ah, I cracked it too early. This right here is an egg in a hamburger hole. You get you get the concept saying now? It is a egg in a hole. Huh. I think it's flipping time. I'm going to do it with one hand. So let's just, you always do that. Let's do this one first. Slide it. Perfect. Perfect. All right, hamburger meat is almost done. You can tell by the pinkness layer that's right there. So we're gonna go slap on some cheese, crank this way down. And we get some cheeses too. The cool thing, if you slightly burn it, no one's gonna know because of the cheese and sauteness. It's a win and you'll still look like a professional. Sauteing all day. 
What have you been doing today? Oh, I've been stirring the pot. I get the joke now. Let's do it. This looks delicious and cooked now. One. Two. Now, anytime you cook meat, you always let it sit. You always let it sit and think about what's about to happen. Next, we just some cilantro right on top because this makes everything good, especially if there's eggs involved. And there we have it. That's it, guys. This is what we've come with. Underneath this plate of veggies is some hamburgers with an egg in the hole. And this is how we cook an egg in a hole in our tiny home. So stay tuned, guys, for the next video. That was a cool little camera trick that I learned, you know, watching other YouTubers, I guess, because, uh, you know, it's like I'm high-fiving you almost. So if you want to smack that screen with me, boom! Hopefully you didn't do it too hard, and uh, you can watch our next video. Stay tuned. I guess you all want to know if it tastes good, and I'm curious too, so let's just go for it. Get the outside there. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you should definitely try it. You know, there's so many different ways you can do this. That's for my wife. She should be here in five minutes. But you can come up with your own way of cooking it if you like. But I like the taste of fresh, fresh vegetables and meat and cheese. So, let's put together. I mean, if you don't like this idea, maybe method one of cooking this will be better. And, um, you know, to each his own. Anyways, y'all have a good day. And, uh, like, subscribe. <laughs>